Good morning, you guys. It's actually Father's Day and I woke up early to go ahead and get me some coffee and possibly some content before I leave the hotel. So um, that's what I'm doing. Today is my last day in the hotel and they extended it until two for me. Um, it's actually Father's Day, like I said, so yeah. That's what's going on right now. So I'll just check in with you guys later. Hey you guys, so um, today is Monday and I've had this package here that I have not opened for the longest, just me supporting black owned businesses. So let me show you guys what it is because I actually need to use the package to ship something from my Poshmark. So we're gonna open it right now. I'm gonna put something on my lips first. I'm too hyped. I just learned how to um, work the printer. So I had something sent from my cell phone to the printer and that got me excited. And now I'm trying to schedule another hair appointment because my hair looks like crazy. Okay, so this package is from Alafia or Alafia. So, yep. I'm about to stick that package right up in here. Take this shot. That's why I'm actually glad that mom picked me up these rolly thingies. That way I can just mark out. Okay, let's not mark it out. But that's on tape. Okay, so we have the kids body lotion. And this is going to have unrefined shea butter in it. And the flavor is lemon lavender. Mm, okay, that's a cute smell. So this will go in my daughter's bathroom. Or in her room, wherever she wants to put it. Even though she's not here for the summer, I will still do that for her. This is a clarifying facial toning mist with shea leaf. For blemish prone to uneven skin. And this is in the scent Natural Mint. So this is all natural products. And they are based out of Olympia, Washington. I thought they were based out of Africa. Amazing. Okay. Better not break me up. Next item of business here is my neem turmeric charcoal deodorant i'm gonna try that out it smells good just because i want something close to home for me okay i'm tired of these stinking ass deodorants that i keep buying and i want all black owned stuff plus they sell this stuff at like trader joe's or um, Whole Foods. I won't say Trader Joe's because I haven't been to Trader Joe's, but the aesthetic is giving me Trader Joe's. But I saw, I actually saw these products um, at Whole Foods. So I ordered them online though. This was before I had actually gone to Whole Foods. Okay, and this is the Everyday Shea Hand Soap Lemon Verbana, which is one of my favorite scents, Lemon Verbana. So, yes, it's Lemon Verbana. <laughs> All right, guys, this soap is probably going to go upstairs in my bathroom because that one is out. So that is the products from Alafia. Check them out if you need some black-owned skincare, hair care, any kind of care. They shipped pretty quickly. Their products are sturdy, packaged safely, so no mishaps with the packaging. I sprayed my face, and that thing looks good. Okay, you guys, I'm out the door. Hello. I just got done going to the post office. I don't know what's up with post office workers, but <clears throat> they always have some major attitude about you using their stuff. Okay, I have this roll of tape. I have my own scissors. I have my own pen. I have all my own stuff. It just so happened that the scissor, I mean, the tape was on its last piece when I pulled it today. So, 
I'm going to make sure I have a post office survivor kit up in my car because the way these whores act about their stupid little tape, it's ridiculous. It's not your tape. It is the tape of the patron. Like, what part don't you get? Like, she's like, she calls me up and she's like, and I knew it was going to be an issue. I knew it was going to be an issue for the moment that she came from the back. Looked like she just got done eating a whole stack of pancakes. Okay, because she leaned back. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I knew it was going to be a problem. So, I'm like, you know how they have certain tape. They have scotch tape. Then they have tape that has the priority writing on it. I'm always afraid to use the wrong stuff in the post office. Okay? So, I wait in line until... Because I'm not so elite that I'm just going to skip everybody and ask for tape. No, I'm going to wait until I get up here and then I'm going to ask for the tape when it's my turn to be serviced so there should be no issue so when I do that she's like I tell her um I just want to send this but I just ran out of tape in my car and she goes um well that's just too bad isn't it like what course do y'all take on y'all old ass computer with the plastic covering over the keypad that makes y'all think y'all are the hot shit at the post office. I'm damn near about to apply so that I can have an attitude and find out what makes me the shit at the post office. Okay? So, I'm like, yeah, so can I use the tape? And so she just kind of just slides it up on the table and I'm like, girl, I've not had my coffee. What did I do wrong? Like, what did I do wrong? I'm about to do that. I'm about to just deliver packages in my car. I wonder how much they pay for that. I'm about to look that up because I'm getting tired of being treated like shit by everybody. Like dead ass. So, I'm going to go continue my day. And now I'm going to find me some coffee, a Walgreens. I don't know. I have a lot of stuff to do this week. I have to get my breaks done tomorrow. And then on Wednesday, I have to go to Fayetteville because that's where I get my car worked on by this guy. So I'm going to be spending a lot of money this week. And yeah. Yeah. So that's how my day is going right now. And I will check in with you guys later. What's up guys? So today is Tuesday and so far today I had to go get my brakes done. My car started making like a loud grinding noise so I went and got my brakes done and I ended up needing $779 worth of work. Actually I needed $1,600 worth of work but I didn't allow them to change my tires because I'll go to Walmart and get my tires which um I'm surprised I need new tires again but anyway they replaced my brakes and my rotors uh, my brake pads were worn below minimum specs whatever uh, they replaced my air filters so basically brakes and air filters cost me eight hundred dollars uh, which I was not pleased about because I was coming in there thinking I was gonna spend somewhere around three hundred dollars today even 600 would have been like the max that I wanted to spend today. But yeah, it was like 800 and he gave me some coupons. So that's not even like the total total. So that's that. I already got over it. So I really hate to bring it back up. But anyways, that's what I was doing. And then I just stopped over here at this Thai restaurant because I haven't really had Thai like that since I've been in Charlotte. So hopefully this place is good. It looks pretty authentic. You know, some Thai places, they just don't do it for me. They be too Americanized, and I hate that. Like, I want legit, real spicy Thai food. So, while I'm over here, I may just eat in my car. That way I can, because there's a lot of shopping around here. And there's a Planet Fitness over there. But I need to get with Darren because he has some kind of membership card or whatever that he gets for free through his one of his jobs. Where I can get basically a free gym membership, I guess. Tomorrow, I have to go to Fayetteville to get the actual damage on my car from the collision worked on. And so, that's more money. 
and thank god not as much as this but um i just have to pay my deductible and i don't know it's just like i feel like i knew this was coming like i knew something was coming with my car i didn't know what it was going to be but i just knew something was going to be coming that was going to cost me a lot of damn money because i've been saving a lot of money and that's just the way it works and that's why it's so important for you to stash some money aside yeah that's pretty much it at least i'll get to see nasia and that's pretty much all that i have going on today oh you got it wrong and the sad part about it is the story ain't even right. That, that's the whole thing. It's a fabricated, made-up story, and you got it. It doesn't. How, how? My darling, I told you I'm not perfect man, but I promise I will never hurt you again. My darling, I told you I'm not perfect man, but I promise I will never hurt you again. My darling, I told you. Yeah.